Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing engine oil on this four cylinder 2.5 liter 2018 Toyota Camry. This procedure will be the same for all four cylinder engines from 2018 to 2022 models. So, we're gonna need 5 liter of 0W16 synthetic or fully synthetic engine oil. Four cylinder engines on Toyota Camry needs 4.8 quarts with the filter, which equals to 4.5 liters. That's why I got 5 liters. An engine oil filter. Here's the part number. Oil filter socket. It should be 65 to 64 millimeter. Funnel. Half inch ratchet for the filter socket. 10 millimeter for removing oil pan cover. 14 millimeter for removing oil drain bolt. Some used towels and oil drain pan. All right, let's remove the dipstick out. I like to remove the engine cover so it doesn't get oil on it because I already washed the engine. Next, removing oil cap. I always like to wipe the top where the cap gasket sits on it and then around it. Not only give me a better seal, but keeps the dirt from falling in the engine accidentally when putting the funnel on. I'm gonna block the rear tire and then jack up the car and put it on a jack stand. It's not necessary to have a jack and jack stand, but you can use your car's jack and lift the car that much so you can reach the drain bolt and the filter. But for me, because I have to show better view angles with the camera and using light, I need more space. Looks like this car missing the engine cover. It should have big plastic cover that bolts on the subframe and a small plastic cover for the oil service. Here is the 14mm oil drain bolt. And here's the 65 millimeter oil filter located at the left side of the engine. Okay, drain pan under the car. Let's remove 40 millimeter drain bolt. While the oil draining, we're gonna put the filter socket on the ratchet and remove the oil filter. Whoever put this filter on used ratchet to tighten it up. You can tell that it's too tight that the engine moves when I'm trying to loosen it up. Oil filters should be hand tightened only without using ratchet. After removing old filter, make sure that the old gasket not still on the engine and then we're gonna clean it up for the new filter. Let's take the new filter out. They already oiled the rubber gasket, but if it's not, Use some oil and put it on a rubber gasket. It will provide better seal and easier for removing for the next oil change. If you noticed I didn't fill the new filter with the new oil. It's necessary to fill the oil filter only on heavy duty engines because of the filter size. Hand tightening new filter is enough without using rush. Next cleaning drain area and putting back 14mm drain bolt. If you are using torque wrench, torque the 14mm drain bolt to 30 pound feet of torque. I always like to clean the oil pan and the filter area so I can know if there is any new leak. Alright, we are done under the engine. Let's lower the car so we can fill it with the new oil. First, I'm gonna uncap all the 5 liters. We're gonna put 4 liters and then half of this one which it will be 4.5 liters, equal to 4.8 quarts. Alright, let's grab the funnel and pour the new oil in the engine. If you own any model of Camry from 2018 to 2022, you can use 0W20 engine oil if you couldn't find 0W16. But for best fuel economy and engine performance, use 0W16. I like to leave it like that to drain while I get another liter. So we're gonna continue pouring 4 liters and then the last one, pouring half liter. And here is the last one, we're gonna pour half liter, in total it will be 4.5 liters. Take the funnel out and put the cap back on. Engine cover back on, let's check the level with the dipstick. Make sure to wipe the dipstick so you don't get wrong reading. It's at the second dot which is the right level. Now we're gonna start the engine. It's important to start the engine after oil and filter change. Check the drain bolt and the filter for any leak. After oil change we need to reset schedule maintenance. We're gonna use arrows at the left side of the steering wheel. Press back. Go all the way to the gear icon. Vehicle settings. Schedule maintenance. Press OK. 
and reset completed. And now we can get back to the main page. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>